you have been dealing with the family. I wonder if you could give us a sense of how they are managing this moment. I, I, I've, I am just staggered by the strength of, of Tyree Nichols' mother to speak about the death of her son publicly in such eloquent terms. She talked about how he was sent here for a purpose and that perhaps uh, awakening the country or further further alerting the country as to the, 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 the horrific abuses that occur on the part of state-sanctioned, uh, you know, violence, state awakening the country to that violence on the part of police. I mean, that potentially is his mission if, if he was indeed on a mission here. How... Are they, how are they grappling with the fact that the entire country is going to be watching what is effectively the execution of their son? Well, you, you raised such a great point. I mean, the words of, her, of his mom were that he was here for an assignment. That is so profound. That is incredible. And, and I've watched this bell curve of, of their emotions now, you know, since the beginning up until today. And, and I believe that the only way that they can heal amongst themselves, within themselves, is to know that Tyree was here for an assignment from God. And, and let's make this an assignment for our country. Let's let Washington hear us. Let's rejuvenate the George Floyd Police Reforming Act. Let's get a vote so that we can have uniformity amongst the states so that we can then not have this disparity in policing from state to state. Let's all follow and play by the same rules. Antonio Romanucci, attorney for the Tyree Nichols family. Um, I, I cannot imagine what the conversations are like uh, right now, but for all of us on the outside, um, we we send our condolences and our absolute deepest sympathies to this family in this time for having to live through what is unthinkable. Mr. Romanucci, thank you for joining us. I promise to convey that. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Well